Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We gotta hold on to what we got. It doesn't make a difference if we're naked or not. Good words to live by. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I'm naked. And you can follow us on Gross. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more <laughs> juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow the stream. Subscribe. You. <laughs> and you're doing great. Except for you, Nori, Nor, Norwalt, Nor, 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 Nor. Yeah, you know who you are. I was like, there's nobody, there's no Indians probably I watching. Were, I thought you were going to say Nor Noriega. Nargis. Nargis? Why? What's wrong with and Nargis? India, I, I know. She, uh, she's having well, a rough day. That's what she's having. Well, Nargis. You're going to be doing great. This too shall pass. Let us know down below if your name is Nargis. Named after the infamous Nargis. And it, I bet I'm not pronouncing that name correctly. I think you are. Nargis. N A R G I S. Nargis. The, the yeah, Nargis. Actress, Nargis. I think it's pretty straightforward right yeah, there. Anyways, Nargis. Uh -huh. You guys can let me know. I feel like I'm saying it white. Uh, today we're doing a movie review of the new 2022 film. Uh, in a that couple months, it'll be 2023. What? What? That's how years work, children. That's the kind of uh, insight you get here. If you want to know what year it is, tune into OSR. <laughs> Sometimes we'll be right. <laughs> uh, but the new 2022 <laughs> Telugu um, action drama mystery, mis mis I, I, I call it more of a romance film than anything. You would. Uh, called Sita Ramamam. That sounds right to me. How would you say it? Sita Ramamam? Yeah. Ram Ram Sita Ramamam. Sita Ramamam. Sita Ramamam. Uh, directed by? Uh, your mom. Oh, wow. Well. She did a great job. Oh, well. Uh, Hanu Raga Ragavapudi. Who also wrote the story for it as well. Uh, starring uh, the, the your main two leads are... Uh, yes. Um, uh, well, you've got, for Lieutenant Ram, you have Dalkur Salman. Mm -hmm. And then obviously for Sita, also known as Princess Noor, um, Ronald Thacker. And then Afreen was played by Rashmika Mandana. Yeah. And then and there's... A ton of other people. A ton of other people from actually a bunch of different industries. Right. Uh, in this film, uh, it just came out, but it's it's been out. I don't know. I, uh, I, it's I, been out for a while. It's been out for like it was in theaters, and now we saw it because it's on Amazon now. And so, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's on Amazon. Uh, we'll keep this one since it's not new. New. Right. We'll keep it like our normal reviews, and we'll do so, do spoiler reviews or uh, stuff like that. But uh, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. So I have. I have lots of notes, okay, uh, but I'm not necessarily going to read them all. But um, uh, I, for me, there were too many, too many things. One, I never really cared about the couple, and there were too many things that were just plot-wise, uh, transcendent, just ridiculous for a, a romantic drama for me. That I, I never got fully engaged and enjoyed myself, and and there were a lot of supporting people. I know the white actors, but there were some supporting people that were hard to see doing what they were doing acting wise. Mm. The cinematography, not a surprise if you see who the DP is. Um, the cinematographer's got a lot of experience. Uh, that's two, two names, but P.S. Vinod. Oh, yeah, we know him. Look at that resume, and you know why the oh, cinematography. Okay. That, that for me is my favorite thing is the cinematography. Um, Production design did a really good job too. There were some continuity things that were just you know, stuff that bothered me, and I thought it was overscored. So ultimately, I didn't like it. Mm, interesting. Yeah, uh, I I enjoyed the film as a, as a whole, and I especially enjoyed their story when they actually got to them. Uh, the first thirty minutes were rough for me. I feel like it was, yeah. that's definitely the the weakest part of the film for me. Is because and one, the dubbing was. Huge. Yeah, yeah, especially in the beginning, um, with like when when our, when our dust came on and it was a uh, Niraj. Um, yeah, hey, it's just so distracting, and that's why we always talk about it. It's just it's it's that distracting. And I, I even said to you at one point, I think I sent a text that I just I just don't understand any industry anywhere in the world right now that just doesn't do sync sound. I mean, every student film here at AFI and 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 New York Film Academy, it, it's it's just it's it's like. 
it would be like making a film silent. It's like you would only do that for an artistic reason nowadays because we don't make silent movies anymore. So I just yeah. don't understand why you would dub a film, um, not do it in sync sound. But like the first 30 minutes were the, the the ones that was most difficult to get into. When they actually got to the main two actors, who I think probably the strongest actors in the entire film. Uh, the, uh, the only ones that I really was enjoying watching the work. I liked it when they were on screen and their, their story it's still not my favorite way for a story to be told. It's a very similar. We actually watched a Tulu film earlier this year, uh, the one about the actress, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Her story, uh, very, very, very similar. similar. In how and I don't know, maybe it's a Telugu uh, uh, kind of style, but I mean, it's it's been done in Hollywood too. It's 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 just not my favorite style of of a story being told because I feel like it kind of takes you out of uh, like I don't really even like the way it does it in Titanic. Titanic does it a very similar way, right? Yeah. It, it's them currently telling the story, unraveling the story for the audience at the time. I would just prefer you just tell the story. Just tell at the, the story. Time. I like, agree. I don't need this other part. I get it. It's for like, oh my god. Right. Oh my god. I, I would like you could have just told their love story for me. In, yeah. In chronological order, without the going back and forth. And I get. I mean, I. I obviously I saw the end, so I understand why you did it. I just honestly, the payoff for me wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I would have much preferred to have the our two leads on screen and and there because it was very similar to like, I mean not the story wise but in terms of like a romance film of, of Veer Zara. It, it had the potential to of, be that of that kind of stuff. I I mean I think their love story them two very quintessential of a Veer Zara. The rest of the film, well it just I think that one also benefited from being older as well. This is twenty well, twenty two, so we're we're judging on twenty twenty two scale. But it also benefited from a storyline that executed itself with a level of believability. There's just so many things in this that strain credulity for something that's supposed to be grounded in reality as a romantic drama that, like, everything from them going out and about and nobody recognizing this is the princess, them being on the front cover of the newspaper and them not talking about the fact that it's been uncovered, they're seeing each other, to so many times are, okay, so what are the odds what are the odds that he would just happen to be passing by that particular house at that particular moment and that particular child would make that sound that would make him suddenly not just hear a kid? How does he know that that kid is Wahida? Just he has extrasensory perception. It's that kind of thing for me is just insulting to the intelligence well, of the I think, audience. I think that kind of thing happens in Indian cinema a lot in romance films. And I never like it. <laughs> you like SRK films? And uh, he has a I do, but they're not, they're not that ridiculous. So a lot of them are, though. It's just, I think you, I, I think this one has a disadvantage of having those same things that like Shah Rukh Khan or other old romance films have, but they're older, so we don't judge them as harshly because yeah. of the, the, I, the time. I, I can't think of anything in an SRK film or any other film that's a romantic film that I've liked mm. that had things that just made no sense mm. in like, how, how would he know? Love. That's Wahida. Love. 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 Yeah, that's a great justification for romantic drama. You love just just stupid just love films. Love love perceives all. I think you've said that many times. I have never said that love <laughs> perceives all. No. Anyways, I do want We need true justifications for drama. We can get into the other <laughs> other aspects of it obviously first, but I wanted to get into the the aspects that you like first and that yeah. I like first as well. Like I said, my my favorite part, my favorite storyline throughout the entire film was them. It took about 30 minutes to actually get to them telling their love story. I would story. have preferred that than um, the whole get the letter to yeah, yeah. because I got to get my grandfather's that was will. The, the, the first part was definitely the roughest part for me yeah um and so that, that's always unfortunate when it takes 30 minutes for really your characters to be really introduced yeah and and the whole story agreed um but them as a whole i thought their acting was far superior to everything everything else i thought the, the two the ladies were by far the, the our best. main lead the, yes. the little girl essentially and her yeah uh, afreen and and sita the, yeah the the, the, what, the actresses that I portrayed thought, them are for me this the strongest Acting performance. I thought their chemistry together was really, really good. Uh, she's very striking. The our, our, our lead girl, yeah, Sita, we've, and we've seen her before. Um, she's just, she's she's a very good, very good actress. We, we've seen her in a couple of things recently. Have we? Yeah, um, we saw her in. Uh, she she played Shahid's wife in Jersey. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh yeah, she did, didn't she? 
Oh, she was in Tufan as well. Tufan was the other one. And there's one Super more. Super 30. Yeah, Super 30. Yeah, so we've seen her in, in a few in, things. In, in, uh, oh, in that one as well, I think. Um, anyways, yeah. I, I, one, she's absolutely gorgeous. I loved her performance, uh, especially when they were together. Uh, all the other subplots were not as uh, engaging for me as when they were kind of just telling their... And I, I like that in Indian cinema. I like the overdramatic love story. I, I do, that, too. That's India's... That's a genre in yeah. India, is the love conquers all, over the top, everything is beautiful. Love story. Shower Khan's made it very famous in his career for sure. being the romance guy, right? Sure. And so I like that aspect um he i thought did a, a really good job as well with her um and all that stuff and then obviously i think you're uh, the the girl you mentioned as well she was uh, the little girl she was stronger than the supporting actor she was with yes uh in in her scenes uh together uh so and i also really enjoyed the songs in it in terms of like when they, they got to the uh the like especially the the one where it was just they were I think dancing in the mountains it was it was our, our yeah the standalone songs I like yeah very very beautiful uh, I'm not talking about the score I'm talking about the uh, the yeah. just the standalone songs yeah. I thought they were very very pretty right uh, I liked them a lot um, and then there was one in in the ballroom right or when she was dancing inside was yes. there one yes as well yeah really like that um, and everything else like. It was fine. It it definitely took. It went like this. It was like it started down here because I I wasn't. I was like eh, the the beginning thirty minutes, and then it went up because uh, I they they actually focused on their love story for a good while, and then it it teetered off at the end as well because it was just like <laughs> saying okay, I think we're getting a little far fetched here with <laughs> with our story, and I just want you to focus on their love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, and like two things that happened as we're getting toward the end, which was again in the same thing for me of like, how did he know that that was Wahida? Like he says her name. The other, there were two other things that happened as we're getting toward the end, and the the first one is when Afreen calls to speak to the princess. So it's just a random caller. So I want to speak to the princess, and it's answered, and the person says she's not here. She's in Kashmir. Okay, can I have her address? Like that's ever going to happen? Oh, well, Indians. Are very uh, open. And the other one, why would this national hero soldier who just executed a successful mission in assassinating a terrorist head and has gone missing seven days later be considered a deserter and not just MIA? I don't know, that's what they decided to do. Exactly. I think it was too... Uh heighten the drama. There's no justification for it in reality. It's just those things over and over for again were just what made me go, I, I can't believe I can't believe what I'm watching because it's just not grounded in any level of truth that's justifiable for me. But did you enjoy their love story when it was like the parts I'm talking about in the middle part? I, I never cared for I didn't care about their story. Really? Like they could have both been set on fire and I wouldn't have wept because I didn't care about their their relationship and that was a fault I thought I felt of the storytelling. Because to get me I, I to not root for a loving couple in a romantic film, you have to go out of your way to That's make weird. me not care. Because I cared about them. Yeah, I did not. I, I, I did care about their relationship. Uh I think the the film strayed a little bit from I think what it could have been in terms of just being a more just about and then stop like trying to do these crazy things at the ends to to shock everyone. And I, I'm pretty confident the reason I didn't it was because there were so many times things that weren't justified popped up that I kept like it's hard for me to care about something when I'm repeatedly shown this is not plausible. You know what I mean? If you keep me in a place of plausibility, and I'm not just talking about, I'm not talking about getting rid of the, the suspension of disbelief. I believed that these actors were portraying these characters and I saw them doing a good job. It was the believability of the storyline to make me root for them like. It was hard for me to care for a couple that the whole time I'm watching thinking there's no way they could have kept this private. They're going to movies, they're walking down the street, she's not concealing her identity. There's, and they're on the cover of newspapers. That whole through line of he's pretending to not know she's really the princess. When that payoff came later and she realizes he knew the whole time, I wasn't touched by the fact that he loved her regardless. I was like, 
of course he knew who you were the whole time. You're the freaking princess. You're out. I mean, you're a very famous, wealthy person. Well, so it was in the 60s? Or what year did it say it was in? Yeah, it was 64. 64. So maybe yeah. people don't know what the princess looks like in 64. Before. Well, she's on the cover of all the newspapers. Well, those pictures aren't very good, Rick. And they know who he is. He's a national hero. He's getting letters from everyone in India. So they're very famous people. <laughs> yeah. So that's why, I, that's why I didn't register any care for them. And I know there'll be people, there'll be people who love the film. And I'm not saying you don't have the right to love your films in any way. I'm just saying I don't understand. They'll point to the box office because it was a, su a success at the box office. Mm. I don't know how many times we have to say it as far as we're concerned. Good box office doesn't prove a good movie any more than success pr pr proves a good person. Granted, I don't think this is a bad film. I know he does. Yeah. I do not. Yeah, I, I, I don't so, like it. Also, Sorry. Rick does not prove a bad movie. Right. We all know this. He's an idiot. We all know this. Uh, <laughs> but um, the... Oh God, I just wanted to talk about something. What was it? I don't know. I wasn't in your brain. Uh... And he calls me an idiot. God, there was something else I wanted to talk about for you. Yeah, I don't remember. There was something. <laughs> there was something else I really wanted to Acting talk about. Acting story, believability, no, we talked about all caring. Because obviously, the, the main people that I they really enjoyed acting wise, obviously, were for our, our three leads that we've talked about, right? Yeah, there were some definite. And my bet is that a lot of it had to do with some of the awful dubbing, especially for certain people. Like it was brutal. Like her, some of the worst dubbing. The princess's ever. father, I think it was. His dubbing seemed to be way overdone. So was the head of the terrorist group. Yeah. Like, I don't know why some people's dubbing was, like, so... And maybe it's the performance of the actor. I don't know. Because um, I'm just not that familiar yeah, with how dubbing is done. But, like, some, like, when her father comes on, his dubbing seems to be extremely loud and doesn't match what he's doing. But everybody else is also dubbed. <laughs> And it's just certain, maybe it's their performances that I just, but he, like his especially, like, like, especially in the more second half when he's yelling at her. Yeah. And it's like, oh my word. Yeah. This is. Well, and the other thing that, that again, another thing I was remembering that pulled me out of the believability factor was in 1984, is that the princess was? doesn't look any different than she did in 64. They didn't age her one bit. They didn't even add a gray hair. She's looking great. Yeah. Look at her Shwari Rai. Well, look at, Troy, right, look at some of the characters in House of Dragons. They don't age either, so. No, they do. They've recasted them, remember? No, they've, not Christian. They've they've done. You see oh, yeah. Christian <laughs> oh, and Damon. Neither one of them have aged. Damon has. Well, they, they changed his hair. No, no, Damon has. But <laughs> that's a different story. Yeah, anyway. I'm really enjoying House of Dragon. I just wish they would. Oh, I am too. I just wish the they last would, episode was I great. I just wish they would slow the fuck down. I'm like. I agree. You need three time I jumps agree. in season one. I, I agree. Three time jumps? Yeah. Let's slow down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Let's be done with the time jumps. We've had enough time jumps. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, not what this is about. Um, yeah. Overall, I thought it was a good film. I, I thought especially the middle parts with their, 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 their actual love story was the strongest part of the film. Um, and it may be a, a Telugu just... Because it, it actually followed a very familiar formula. It there, happens a lot. There's a... A, a funny friend uh, like uh, that does some weird stuff to bring some comedic humor to certain scenes. And then, um, and I guess, I don't know if this formula, like, in terms of like telling the story, unraveling it, going back in time, coming back, telling in time, them reacting. And that doesn't, um, that actually doesn't bother me as much as I think I it know. bothers you. It's like flashbacks. Yeah, the, the flashback stuff, that, that doesn't bother me, especially if it's done in a way that shows the director assumes you're intelligent like we're watching the the series Dahmer on on oh, Netflix yeah, 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 yeah. and it's it's well done on a number of levels yeah. most especially the director will do time jumps and not tell you nice. but assumes you understand yeah. what they're doing yeah it's done very well so for me I didn't again it wasn't that it was the um that was just the believability factor of so many elements throughout the story if those had been justified because that's my primary problem mm. If those elements for me had been justified in some way and not been, in my opinion, to be uh, lazy with screenplay, it would have 
tremendously elevated my experience. I mm. probably would have liked it mm. if they had simply justified the things that repeatedly said to me, why would he have been, why would they have done, why, how did he, ship? that never would, mm. I was constantly doing that. <laughs> Plus the dubbing, sync sound, please. Please film in sync sound. That's something we should ask somebody. It's like, how much is it, how much difference in money in India is it to do dubbing versus sync sound? Why, like, or is it just, this is how we've done it, so this is what we're sticking with? Because like, I don't even understand why it would be so expensive. Honestly, me, me I feel neither. like dubbing would be more expensive. Me too. Because you have to go in after, you have to pay them to come in again. To, yeah, to, it's time. But clearly not, because this is, this, this is just how a lot of Indian cinema, not just Telugu, bunch of Indian cinema has been doing it for a long, long time. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's, I, I would love to actually know why it's specifically but I, that I, way. But I do know, you know, one of the things that we want to see is the greatness of Indian cinema, all industries that we've discovered and continue to discover. Great is can be done because to, RR was dubbed. To be embraced in every place. Mm -hmm. So, um... The totality, or there was ADR dubbing? No, it was dubbed. There was they, no sync sound of any kind in RRR? I believe so. I, I, I find that hard to believe. I think, I think RRR just, had sync sound. I think it was just good. I think they actually just did it well. I don't know. I think RRR had sync sound and then had ADR. You think so? Yeah, I don't think it was purely dubbed. Yeah, I don't know. If it was, it's the best dubbing in the history of cinema. <laughs> and needs an Oscar for that, too. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let us know what you thought about the film, uh, why I'm an idiot, why Rick's an idiot, yep. why we're both idiots, why you're yeah. unsubscribing from the channel. Just let yeah, us know. Yeah, just let us know why us you hate us. Uh, let us know and what should be our next Telugu and romance film that we should watch. Please let us know down below.